Hi there, Joseph Kursky here with a Name That Place quiz. It's a multiple choice quiz about the Earth, our planet. The following multiple choice quiz asks you to analyze and think about our planet Earth. For more information, see this blog essay. This Earth quiz asks you to think spatially and creatively about the whys of where, using maps and imagery for famous waterfalls, cities, coastlines, and other physical and cultural features. These include the famous Earth Eye in Mauritania, the Dorset Coast in England, and other wonderful landscapes. This whole presentation was created with a wonderful tool called ArcGIS Online. With this tool, we can examine all sorts of things at multiple different scales, with lots of different kinds of base maps as well. And the point is, is that we can use this kind of approach to spark interests about our planet, the interaction of people and the environment, landforms, water, energy, natural hazards, biodiversity, urbanization, and lots of other things. Let's get started. A couple of recommendations, though, before we get into the quiz itself. First of all, the instructor could show the slides one at a time using a computer and a projector. Students could record their answers using a variety of different means, paper and pencil or electronically. After the slides have been shown once, go through the slides again. Zoom out or change the base maps until the answer is plainly evident. Most importantly, while going through each slide again, have a discussion about Earth processes, glaciation, waterfalls, human environment impact, coastal erosion, and others, and the reasons, pattern, and impact of those processes. Fourth, use this quiz as a template to create your own quiz, or have the students create their own quiz. Ask the students to use this quiz to create their own, as I mentioned, about another topic or about their community. Ask the students to use their own quiz as a tool in their own oral presentation to their peers. So, that being said, you ready to go? Yes, let's start. Okay, waterfalls. Why are waterfalls important? How do waterfalls form? Are these Victoria Falls, Angel Falls, or Niagara Falls? I'm not going to pause the video here because I want you to be able to pause it as you need to. Mountains. Are these mountains, well, it's this specifically, this one right here, Aconcagua, Argentina, Arenal, Costa Rica, or Kilimanjaro, Tanzania? What clues about the river pattern here indicates whether this is London, Paris, or Hamburg? Here's some glaciation. Is this Norway, New Zealand, or Iceland? Ah, deserts. Gobi Desert, Arabian Desert, or the Sahara Desert. Here's a famous canal. Is it the Suez Canal, the Erie Canal, or the Panama Canal? What landscapes around here and direction of the canal give you clues as to which one it is? Here's a famous rainforest. Is it the one in Indonesia, Brazil, or Papua New Guinea? Here's eroded gull gullies. Are these eroded gullies in Flin Flon, Manitoba, Lakewood, Colorado, or Tucumcari, New Mexico? Ah, wonderful coastline. Key West, Florida, Brittany, France, or Dorset, England? Urban patterns. Is this New York City, San Francisco, Boston? What about the coastline here and the street pattern and the where the actual water is gives you clues as to where this might be. Rural land use. Is this Iowa, Kansas, or North Dakota? Urban landforms. Hyderabad, India, Jerusalem, Israel, or Tunis, Tunisia? Highways. Infrastructure. Stadiums. Munich, Germany, Cairo, Egypt, or Champaign, Urbana, Illinois, USA? Urban water. Detroit, New Orleans, or Miami? Landfills. Atlanta, Georgia, Houston, Texas, or Los Angeles, California? What about the vegetation might give you a clue? Famous ports. Singapore, Tokyo, Japan, or Melbourne, Australia? Glaciated terrain. 
Russia, Finland, or Manitoba, Canada. Fascinating landscape. Saline Lakes. Great Salt Lake, Utah, USA, Lake Asal, Djibouti, or the Dead Sea in Israel. Famous Temples. Jokhang Temple, Tibet, China, Taj Mahal, India, or Angkor Wat, Cambodia. Center Pivot Irrigation. Saudi Arabia, New Mexico, USA, or Kyrgyzstan. All right, so let's take a look at the, the answer key now. Okay, some reflections. This is Victoria Falls. The Zambezi River flows from north to south in this image into the gorge, forming the boundary between Zambia to the east and Zimbabwe to the west. Angel Falls in Venezuela is a good guess, but it is the world's highest waterfall at 807 meters, but it's much narrower than Victoria Falls and is located on one mountain. These criteria are not met by this image. Niagara Falls? Eh, incorrect. It's the boundary between Canada and the USA. The vegetation there, nor the commercial development adjacent to Niagara Falls, does not match this image, though some development is evident in this image if one zooms out to a smaller scale or even pans it as I'm do doing here. Mountains. Correct answer is Arenal, Costa Rica. The tropical vegetation, tropical cloud formations, and nearby lake are, th are the major clues. Arenal is a young volcano, and this activity prevents vegetation from taking root along its sides. Aconcagua, uh, this is in uh, so uh, South America, the highest peak in South America. It's not far from the border with Chile and is much higher. It's also snow-capped, and the surrounding terrain is much more rugged than is evident here. Kilimanjaro is a good guess, given the tropical vegetation, but Kilimanjaro is also much higher, larger, and is in part snow-capped. Urban rivers. Um, Paris is the correct choice here. The Seine loops through the city in this fashion, and the street pattern, uh, as you can see here, is the other major clue. The pattern of the Thames in London is, does not exhibit the long loop that is evident here. Hamburg con contains a wide estuary with access to the North Sea, which is not evident here. And also Hamburg's street pattern is different from that of Paris. This one is, uh, in, is in New Zealand. Uh, this is the fjord land on the South Island. Norway, uh, the orientation of the coast makes this a good guess, but close examination reveals that the glaciers on the so are on the south slopes here rather than on the north-facing slopes, a clue that this is in the southern hemisphere. Iceland, mm, too much vegetation exists in this image to be Iceland. Uh, in addition, the glaciers are along the north or along the south-facing slopes, not on the north-facing slopes, as I mentioned. The Gobi Desert is the correct choice, given the landforms, the sands, and the orientation of the landforms in this area of western China. The Arabian Desert, eh, it's a valid guess, but the landforms here much more closely match those in western China. You can also see these snow-capped peaks here, not Saudi Arabia. Sahara Desert, if you had zoomed in, it come, might look like the Sahara Desert with these sand dunes, but the Sahara Desert is much larger, and the landforms here do not match. Canals, this is the Suez Canal. The north-south orientation of the canal and the desert vegetation are the primary clues. The Erie Canal, well, most of the Erie Canal is no longer visible because most of it is no longer in use, except as a tourist attraction. In addition, the New York vegetation is much different, forest, meadow, glacial lakes, than this image portrays. Panama Canal, the tropical vegetation of the Panama Canal is not evident here, uh, clearly making this an incorrect choice. So it is the Suez Canal. Here, the primary clue was this fish boning pattern um, uh, for, of roads for agriculture and lodging uh, and, and villages. Indonesia is a valid guess, but the logging roads exhibit a different pattern there. And in general, the terrain is much more rugged in Indonesia. Papua New Guinea is also a valid guess, but the logging roads, again, exhibit a different pattern. And in general, the terrain is more rugged in Papua New Guinea. Eroded gullies. Uh, Flin Flon is an area of the boreal forest marked by glacial lakes, um, neither of which is evident here. Lakewood, Colorado is the correct choice. The Green Mountain conglomerate has been eroded by gullies along its flanks. 
Uh, no vegetation here up other than a sh few shrubs. Tucumcari, New Mexico is also semi-arid semi like Lakewood, but it is flatter and drier than Lakewood. So this is Lakewood, Colorado. Coastlines, uh, it's Dorset, England here. Uh, the south-facing coast, the Tombolo, which is right here, the bays and the rural fields match that of Dorset on the south coast of England. Brittany, France, uh, coastline faces to the north in general, uh, not to the south as is evident here. Key West, Florida is a string of islands. This image exhibits too much land, so uh, it can't be Key West. Uh, urban patterns. This is San Francisco. The street pattern, owing in part to the hilly terrain and the buildings themselves, are more typical of San Francisco. In addition, there is a port to the northeast of downtown, as is evident here. Boston's a good guess due to its small high-rise area that is off-center from the cardinal directions, but the pattern of the high-rise section of Boston does not match this image. In addition, Boston contains some large public parks and older buildings than San Francisco. New York City, well, this, the orientation is wrong, and uh, you don't have this sort of diagonal pattern coming in like this in New York City. Also, the high-rise section of New York encompasses a much larger section of land than, than of San Francisco. Rural land use, Iowa is the, is the correct choice. Iowa is hillier than, and the natural vegetation cover contains more trees per unit than does the natural vegetation cover in Kansas or North Dakota. Kansas, uh, good guess, but and the straight north, south, east, west roads makes it a valid choice, but again, the vegetation in Iowa contains more trees, and the landscape is hillier here than in central or western Kansas. North Dakota's tree cover is sparser than Iowa's, and the landscape of most of North Dakota is flatter than is evident in this image. In addition, the population density of Iowa is higher, and this image clearly shows more numerous towns and villages. Urban landforms, Hyderabad, uh, it's flatter than this. Uh, Tunis has water close by and some more straight streets and uh, lighter buildings in general. And the desert vegetation is sparser, so this is Jerusalem, Israel. Uh, the street pattern, hilly landforms, and semi-arid vegetation are the major clues. Highways and infrastructure. This is Munich, Germany, or München. This is the correct choice. The lack of urban sprawl in a more carefully planned environment is one clue. Another clue is the deciduous vegetation, typical of Bavaria, and the distinctive shape of the stadium. Cairo, Egypt. Uh, the commercial and residential building street pattern and local vegetation are much different than this image shows. Champaign or De Urbana, Illinois is a good guess as the vegetation type is similar but Champaign, Urbana is a smaller city than this image shows and many of its roads typify an area surveyed according to the public land survey system so they'd be north, south, east, west rather than what is evident here. Urban water, lakes and uh, estuaries and rivers. Uh, this is New Orleans, uh, given the pattern here, the Mississippi River, Lake Pontchartrain, and this estuary here leading out to the Gulf of Mexico. Miami's waterfront is only on its east side, the Atlantic Ocean. Here in New Orleans, it's on the river and also on Lake Pontchartrain. Also, Miami does not contain a major river running through it. Detroit's urban pattern does not match this image. Its land area is not split by major bodies of water, uh, nor are there large marshy areas over in Detroit. Landfills. Ah, I've got you zoomed in at a large scale here, so it's this is a difficult one. Atlanta, Georgia is the correct choice. The heavy tree cover of the natural terrain and the hills are the major clues. Houston contains large landfills. It is, is true, but it is not as heavily forested as Atlanta, and the terrain is much flatter, being on the Gulf Coastal Plain. Los Angeles also contains large landfills for its large population, but the natural vegetation reflects the chaparral biome, and it's much sparser than in Atlanta. Los Angeles does contain some hills, but much of it is constructed on the coastal plain. Ports. This is uh, Melbourne, Australia. The port fronts to the south and is of moderate size. The neighborhood street pattern with its straight streets is characteristic of Australia. Tokyo's port is larger and has a different shape. Much of it fronts to the south, just as like here. It's, it's, it's a good guess, but it's not correct. Singapore, uh, the shape of Singapore's port does not match this image, and also it's much larger than Melbourne. 
glaciated terrain. Russia is close to the correct answer, and some of the glaciated terrain in the north in northern Russia does look similar with the taiga or forest cover, but it's actually Finland. The forest cover in the northwest to southeast orientation of the lakes here are predominant uh, in this region of Finland. Manitoba, Canada was also glaciated by continental glacier glaciers in the past, but the northwest southeast orientation negates Manitoba as a valid choice. Here, saline lakes. Mm, Great Salt Lake. Well, the landforms and orientation are different, and also Salt Lake City at the southeastern tip of the Great Salt Lake is absent here. Lake Asal Djibouti is the correct answer. The large playa on the northwest shore of the lake, the lack of major urban areas, and the local dry and mountainous landscapes uh, are the other clues. Dead Sea Israel has a north-south orientation in a different shape than Lake Asal. The lack of the Jordan River as a landform in this image is another clue. Famous temples, it's actually Angkor Wat, Cambodia. The temple is dark in color. The manicured grounds and human-created ponds and the regional tropical vegetation are the primary clues. Also this large city close by. Taj Mahal, while it does have the manicured grounds that are also evident here, is white, and the vegetation of India is different from that shown here. Shokang Temple, Tibet, in, Laha, in Laza, is in a more populated area, but it is also a much more mountainous uh, than is depicted here. In addition, its higher elevation and radically different vegetation negated as a valid choice for this answer. Center pivot irrigation. This is a tricky one. It is in Saudi Arabia. The sands of central Saudi Arabia is the primary clue, and the lack of roads aligned with cardinal directions, which would indicate the USA, is another clue. So it can't be New Mexico. Some of New Mexico's vegetation is, is semi-arid, but it's not completely arid like you have here in Saudi Arabia. Sands of New Mexico do exist, like white sands, but they're either protected parkland or military bases and not used for agriculture, so they have no center pivot, pivot irrigated fields in those sands. Kyrgyzstan, some of it is semi-arid, uh, but it has predominant mountains and lack of widespread sands, so it can't be Kyrgyzstan. All right, so let me ask you, what quiz and presentation could you create with ArcGIS Online to tell a story about the Earth, its regions, its features, its processes, and its changes? You could start with my presentation and modify it, or completely start over with your own. Thank you. Have fun.